So the next thing we're going to talk about are the three stages of healing. Really important that you understand this to get the most out of your physical therapy. Step number one is this, uh, relief. So that is when you walk in and let's say you're having back pain and you have back pain every time you bend forward. Well, the first goal of physical therapy in the first stage of healing is that you get relief. So that's getting to the point where you can bend forward without any pain. So our goals here are to reduce your pain, decrease your pain, and also your inflammation. Step number two, and before we get into step number two, what will happen is many times people get this immediate relief and they just want to stop the whole healing process and they're good and they want to ride off into the sunset and then usually a couple months later, if they don't complete the healing process, we end up seeing them again or they'll go off after a few visits and they'll say, physical therapy didn't work for me, even though they were 100% better in two weeks uh, through this phase. Step number two is this, stage number two, get full movement and strength. So if we're seeing somebody for, let's say, shoulder pain, they might have pain as they're lowering their arm right through here, um, then that goes away, we reduce the pain and inflammation. The next goal is to get full range of motion and then full strength back so they um, and sets them up for stage number three, which is returned activities. So if it's that person with a shoulder problem, they might want to reach up into a cupboard that they haven't been able to reach up into for three months. So before they graduate, we want that person to test that out again, reach up and grab that pitcher or whatever they need to grab off the top shelf. Um, might be doing something behind their back or maybe they haven't uh, dressed with a, a t-shirt or something like that and been able to put on a t-shirt, we want them to go back and try that. For others, it might be going for a 10, 20, 30 minute walk. It might be doing stairs, it might be doing a, an exercise class like a Zumba class or a yoga class that the person hasn't been able to do for a while. Before you graduate, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go back and you try all those activities. Because again, what will happen is, I'll be out you know, in Costco or Target or Giant walking around and I'll run into somebody who I might have seen a, a year or two ago and they'll say, and I'll remember them as being a very good responder. So maybe they hit this stage and they were you know, 90 to 100 percent better um, after a few weeks. And then uh, we think that we got close to full motion and close to full strength, but they really didn't try their activities. So maybe it's a 15 mile bike ride and they went back and they tried their bike ride, you know, they had it going for a ride in three months or six months, and they did 15 miles on the first day back. And naturally, they got flared up again. So they did this huge rush back to activities. We never saw them again. We could never tweak their program or fine tune what it is that we were working on. And now that person thinks physical therapy didn't work for me. When it was working really well, they just didn't complete the healing process. So as you're going through, you want to make sure that you're fitting those activities in. If it is doing something in the yard, if it's doing something around the house, if it's lifting something that you haven't done in a while, we want to make sure you try that before you graduate. But once you do that and you're able to do all the things that you want to do pain-free and without any problems, then you graduate. That's the plan.